Natural sources of light and heat. Daddy Alex decided to have a camping trip with his son, Cullen. Dad, I'm so excited. I can't wait for us to put up our very first tent. Will we put it up now or tonight? I am excited too. Come on, let us put up the tent now while the sun is still up. Because tonight it would be very dark. Dad, if it's too dark, how will we be able to see clearly? We need light right so we can see what we are doing. Don't worry, Cullen. We can get light from the stars. They produce natural light without being turned on or off. Oh, you mean natural light are sources of light that are not made by people? Just like the stars and the sun? Yes, that is right. The stars and the sun give off light. The sun is the most important natural light. Many living things need the sun to live. I remember my science teacher also told us that even animals like glowworms and fireflies have parts that produce light. I hope to see fireflies tonight. Oh, there they are. But Dad, I don't think the light they produce is enough for us to use. Well, that is why we need other sources of light too. Let me show you. Please get my bag and check what is inside. Dad, there is a flashlight, a table lamp, some candles and matches. We will use those items to help us during those hours of poor lighting. Those items are actually examples of artificial sources of light and heat. Good thing I also brought my cell phone with me, Dad. We can also use it later to light our way when we need to gather more firewood. Good suggestion, son. Hey, Dad, why did you mention heat? Colin, things that give off light usually produce heat, like the sun, wood, and coal. They are natural sources of heat. When you burn wood and coal, they both give off light and heat that can be used to cook food. That's what we're going to use to cook our meal tonight, right? Yes, so you better help me cook, or else you won't have a hot meal for dinner. But what if we run out of wood and coal? I made sure to bring a gas burner. It is an example of an artificial source of heat, since it uses gas to produce light and heat. So no need to worry about eating raw food tonight, my son. Good thing there is light and heat energy. I learned so many new things in this camping experience. Good to know that, Cullen. Just remember to use these sources of energy properly, 